probably not going to be able to tell anything special because you guys didn't know what it looked like before. But this car is so stinking clean now. My, uh, my father is an expert car detailer. He actually used to run a business um, where he would detail people's cars. And he cleaned mine while we were in Wisconsin. Ridiculous amount of clean, like beautiful now. And, and we just got back yesterday, and he already cleaned Mallory's car. Like, we were asleep, and then we woke up this morning, and he's like, yeah, I cleaned your car. And it's like showroom, showroom level. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, he's really, really good at that. All right, so we have errands to run today. We have to go to the post office for things. We have lots to mail. With more going out tomorrow. Yeah. What else? We have to send out the uh, the wedding invitations, and Mallory is doing stuff with uh, applying for jobs because she. I, it should be pretty obvious, but she's applying to you know get work, and uh, she's been she's applied to a lot of places, which is good because you know. More than just her needing a job, we need a place to live, and our, the place that we live is going to be decided upon based on where she finds a job. If she finds a job, we know where to live, and then I will find a job in said area. Uh, actually, I'll be looking before that. Uh, the good thing about being a video editor is that video editors can work from home. In fact, many do, even for like big things like Hollywood uh, feature films. Uh, a lot of people work. From their own personal workstations at home and uh, I'm pretty excited about the potential of working at home. I talked a little bit about it last night um, but it was late and uh, I was probably mumbling and rambling and I wasn't talking very loud but I bought some computer parts just because I, I was I've been meaning to upgrade my computer. Uh, the first thing I did was double my RAM. I had six gigs of RAM and I went to 12. Uh, just kind of excited about the, the potential of having access to more memory. Uh, the bigger thing that was probably the biggest deal is that I upgraded my hard drives because the way my computer is set up right now is I have two 500 internals and one is Windows and one is Mac and then I have two 500 externals that back those up and then I have a one terabyte internal which is used strictly for video editing and a one terabyte external that backs that up so I have six drives which is kind of insane. Uh, the problem is, I'm kind of running out of room, um, two times over. I'm running out of room on my one terabyte as far as like, the footage goes. I don't have enough room for footage. I'm also running out of room on my 500 internal for Mac OS just because I have too much crap on there. Uh, I have over like 100 gigs of music or something, and that's probably not helping. So last night I bought a two terabyte internal and a two terabyte external. So basically what's going to happen is the one terabyte internal external will become the Mac drive, then the two terabyte internal and external will become the footage. So I'm doubling my footage drive and I'm doubling my uh, Mac OS 10 drive. The Windows drive will still stay 500 gigs because honestly, I just don't boot into Windows very often. In fact, I probably won't boot into Windows until Skyrim comes out. And that's saying something. We took care of uh, bank stuff and post office stuff and then we came over here to Walmart because we were looking at some some different things, and then I realized when we got to the card aisle that Father's Day was coming soon. I was like, "Oh, Father's Day!" So I, I got a card. I got a. I got a. I got a good card. Got a good card. I'll let you guys see it. Father's you can't. Day. Your dad will watch it. No, I said I'll let you guys see it on Father's okay. Day. We also bought a uh, a lockbox for documents because, like, we have important stuff that we should put into a box in case you know if there's a fire or. A volcano. We actually already have one, but me and her got one for ourselves because we're going to be moving, hopefully, soon-ish. The last thing we did before we head home um, is the place that we played Magic all last summer, uh, and I played whenever I came home, is called Apocalypse Comics, and it used to be up here in Longs, but they moved because they, they started getting... There was another Magic shop that was like probably 40 minutes away, and it shut down. All those players came up to Apocalypse, and it grew huge, which is awesome because uh, me and Mal are really good friends with the owner. Really cool guy. We, you know, we hung out and done stuff with him before. So it's really awesome to see his business grow. And they, since they moved, I hadn't seen it, so we actually stopped in and took a look at it. Huge store, so cool that, that, that he's got like this really nice big store. And uh, he let us know that this Friday they're doing uh, Commander launch, and I have not been keeping up with the Magic scene. 
Uh, I've been in college, and this, these last few months have been really stressful, uh, trying to get everything done. So I, I kind of let that slip by. I missed the last two releases for the sets. Uh, but the Commander's coming out, so I think me and Mal are going to probably do that on Friday. So, um, magic people that watch the vlog. They'll be excited. Yes, rejoice. Um, and rejoice in, I actually said this in a comment the other day, but I haven't said anything about it. Um, I'm actually making a new YouTube channel uh, for magic, sort of. I mean, not sort of, it is about magic. Not strictly magic. Not, yeah, not strictly magic. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people like, oh, what's it about, what's it about? Don't ask. If you ask anything about that in the comments, I'm not going to answer it. it. You'll get more information about it as it comes closer. Uh, the release of the channel is going to coincide somewhat within a few days of uh, the Magic 2012 corset releasing. So when the 2012 corset releases, um, then the channel will come out. It's it's a little different. Some of you are probably going to really, really like it. Some of you are going to hate it. Um, but it is a channel devoted to Magic and other card games, and uh, I hope that at least some of you will enjoy it, and it'll give you your Magic fix. Because there's so many times people are like, you don't play Magic 100% of the time! It's like, yes, it's because this is not a Magic channel, it's about my life. And it just so happens that every once in a while, I play Magic. Last thing we're going to hit on today is the fact that I got a package, or a leather. Well, it's it's technically a package, although it's in, a, in the form of a leather. It was in my mailbox. This one's very unique because this one is from Ireland. Ireland-lassie. That's actually pirate land. Do, 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 pirate land. Okay, whoa. Oh, wow. There's a huge amount of stuff in here. See, it didn't, it, it wouldn't fit like this in the mailbox, so they had to like fold it over and they pushed all the stuff inside to one side. I'm not really sure where to begin because there's actually a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to look for a leather. <laughs> this is funny because it's actually written as if it were a pirate. Army old specker, here ye doing this internet booty thing. Me and me crew love it. I sent you in my finest treasure to add to your collection, R. I'll hope ye like me treasure. Because there will be more of it in your future. Arder, harder, dude, I'm high. Can anyone guess that reference? Thanks. Pirate Tin Man. Anytime I see pirate, I just think of Pirate Raymond. But that's such a very small, obscure reference that nobody's going to get it except for like two people. So I won't bother. It is really weird because it actually says on here, it says, I am a pirate from Ireland. And like when I opened it, I was like, pirate land. That's, that's funny. This is the Ireland. Irish pirate <laughs> at, at his desk and with his dog. Me dog. And Minecraft dog, which is different. Minecraft dog gets the regular dog spelling, which is interesting. And there's also a little comic included. Girlfriend looks sad and not in a good mood. Babe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I am actually not okay and I'm upset about many things and you will never know. And I am also a man. <laughs> My rarest soccer card. I'm a fan of soccer. Lionel Messi. Or Macy. I'm not sure. I'm very bad at pronunciations. My most prized possession. It's most prized possession fit inside a very small envelope. <laughs> Food dudes. Cucumber. Food dudes fact. As over 96% of a cucumber is water, it can be used to soothe the skin as well as being a tasty veg. Paco. <laughs> My cat! My rarest deck of Yu-Gi-Oh. Holy crap, you wouldn't kidding. There's an entire deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These have seen some better days. <laughs> Got you some cheese string stickers here. They have challenges on the back of them. Do them if you want. He wasn't kidding. These are stickers with cheese string on them. Silly string. You mean cheese? Silly. Or what do we call them? String cheese. That's what we call it. String cheese is, is what you were after. Not silly string. Silly string comes in an aerosol can. You shoot it. And last but certainly not least is one that says this is Dan. And it's got a large object in it. Oh, it's that one creature from uh, Ice Age. Is the creature's name Dan? I've never seen Ice Age, so I can only assume that the creature's name is Dan. Thank you, Pirate Tin Man. And I will say pirate because he emphasized pirate. Uh, this is a pretty awesome package. It's a pretty awesome package in its own. Um, like, look at this. Like, I have, like, a little tray of goodies here. I don't think we've ever gotten anything from Ireland. We've gotten stuff from some pretty cool places. But not, not Ireland. Ireland is new. So once again, thank you for sending something in, Pirate- Oh wait, I know what I'll do. Well, hello there, Pirate Tin Man. 
thank you for sending in a leather thank you a lot and I just wanted to say if anyone anyone out there wants to send in a leather you should and you can just go over to hold on a niche just go over to Steven's YouTube channel and you can get the address on the channel and send something to him and he will open it kind of like how I opened that person with my teeth when I ripped out their heart <laughs> on a serious note I did want to address something that is going to if not an issue now will become an issue and that is these card frames card frames yes you remember them from college and I'm not in college anymore. Oh, you can see where I, I put Tin Man's uh, card inside the frame. Now, the problem here is if I continued to buy card frames, because you guys would continue to send stuff in, we'd have a, a bit of an issue. I would have, like, a million card frames. And the vlog is becoming ever increasingly popular. There are more subscribers each and every day. So, I've decided that the best course of action is... One frame. One frame to rule them all. There will only be one frame. And this is going to be the frame. So the other frames... They're not destroyed. I didn't throw them away or anything, but they're they're not going to be hung up. This is the one that's going to be hung up, and I think it's going to go on the wall maybe over there. What's going to happen is this frame is going to fill up in just one more card, so you guys can send something in, and they'll go right there. And then when the, once that is finished, the next card will replace this one, and then the one after that will replace this one, and then this one, and so on and so forth. That way we only have to keep one frame up on the wall, and as people send stuff in, it will continually recycle. Which, I guess, means that your stuff won't be up as long, but you have to understand that this is the only reasonable way we can keep doing this. All that being said, do continue to send in leathers and packages, and do continue to include signed cards in them, because we're going to keep putting them up. And uh, I'll do my best to get this thing up probably tomorrow, so you'll be able to see them in the background of the vlogs over the summer, and ultimately whenever it is we move. So do keep sending stuff in. I'm not asking you to stop. In fact, send more. It's fine and dandy, and I'm excited to uh, to get stuff from you guys this summer. And that's going to be it. I'm spending all night tonight to finish all the vlogs, and there's not that much left to do. The problem is it's going to take a while to get them uploaded. So I'm going to have them done, but you know, uploading them is a completely different story when they take like three to six hours to upload. And then I have Steven Plays to upload in the middle of that. So it's becoming a little bit of a hassle, a little bit of an issue. But by the time you see this vlog, hopefully things are probably kind of back to normal. So without further ado, let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we? Okay, I need you to desperately change that sound effect. Oh, because as neat as it is, as you can be like, oh, lol, nostalgia, earthbound, like, I can't stand that sound.